Here with Reaction, Fox News contributor Tulsi Gabbard. Tulsi, how are you? I'm great, Sean. How are you? Hi to everybody there in the studio. Everyone doing all right? She says hello. Okay. So here's my question. So Maureen Dowd writes an article, then followed by USA Today, about how the Bidens, uh, I think it's pathetic. I think it's uh, unconscionable that they won't recognize their own granddaughter. Uh, at the same yes. time, you have The Atlantic writing about how, well, what the perfect day would be for Joe to drop out of the race. Um, then we have all these leaks from the White House that has a nasty, vicious, vile temper even towards young aides. Sounds to me like people on the left are turning on Joe, and maybe this is the beginning, not the end, and God help him if he falls one more time. Yeah, you know, Sean, all, all of these signs are very telling, but, you know, I, I think that there are actually a lot of Democrats across the country who, uh, like me, feel that today's Democratic Party is completely out of touch with the people. We have the Democrat elite, people in the Biden administration, pushing this nonsense, saying things like, hey, the government should be responsible for raising your children, not you, as parents. They are pushing things like censorship of any speech that they don't like. They're pushing open borders. They're pushing favoring criminals over victims. The list of their insanity goes on and on and on. I was a Democrat my entire adult life up until a few months ago. Because of their insanity, I could no longer associate myself with them. And so they have created this position for themselves where voters are looking elsewhere. And I, I just got to say, you know, you mentioned no labels in Joe Manchin. The Democrats are terrified of this. And I think it's laughable and arrogant that they're saying, oh, well, how dare he be a spoiler? They're so entitled, they take voters for granted that they think that they can just call anyone who stands up against him as a political opponent for Joe Biden uh, as a spoiler. It, it's, it's, it's crazy. You, voters want options. They want to be able to vote for the best candidate that they believe can do the job. Do you see Robert Kennedy? Uh, do you see Marianne Williamson? Do you see Cornell West? Do you see Joe Manchin? Uh, do you see any real threat to Joe Biden? What about Gavin Newsom? been doing a lot of campaigning recently. I had a long interview with him. He says he's supporting Joe. Uh, however, I believe that he's probably getting close to 150,000 calls a week telling him he needs to get in. Do you agree with that? Well, on Gavin Newsom, I think voters are smarter than the Democrat elite are giving them credit for. They recognize that Gavin Newsom has shown through his record, his failed record in California, would be just a younger version of the Biden administration's same insane policies that look out for their own self-serving interests and not the best interests of the American people and our country. I think poll after poll shows that voters in this country are looking for someone other than Joe Biden and his failed policies to lead this country. And so, absolutely, they should consider all the options before them. Would you ever consider getting in? Uh, if there were a way for me to be able to best serve this country in that fashion, I would. Uh, would you consider that third party or no labels option? Uh, I'd consider all options, put it that way. Wow, sounds like somebody's thinking of getting in this race. We'll see. Uh, Tulsi Gabbard, great to have you as always. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.